Hi, hello, this is Mitchell Davis, and welcome to another... Uh, that's not true. This isn't another. This is a completely new thing that I'm trying. We need to start from the beginning. I've been saying I'm an artist for a really long time. Some would say too long. And if you can't tell by this channel, it's completely enveloped everything. And I feel like it's time to change things up. I feel like it's time to just take everything and just shake it up. So that's what I'm doing. What you're seeing is me painting, making artwork on canvases, not using YouTube as a digital canvas, but as canvas as canvas. And I figured, hey, you know, if this is gonna be my opening opus to a new series of Mitchell painting while vlogging underneath then let's do it right. And so I added my favorite effect over the whole thing. It's this weird glitch that I got down. It looks like I'm freaking moving parts of the pixels in the video. It's crazy. And I also made it so that you don't even have to worry about where to look because I, I, I whited out everything else in the video <laughs> except for the painting, or at least I did the, it, it did its best version. I kind of guided it, but every once in a while you see the corners and the cracks. So enjoy those little secrets. So this is the first canvas, stage one. Actually, that's not true. The first one was and is already painted gold. I did not show that. <laughs> Sorry, I knew. Decided to abstract circles and shapes. Whatever my gut told me to do is what I did. And this is what we got. And uh, I think this is the point actually where I start to see, I start to see characters. I start to see shapes. Uh, and this is usually when it happens this early on, just standing back and looking. This is, is this lame? I don't know. I hope it isn't. Does it feel like a podcast maybe? Like 60% of my painting is in my head first. I think uh, that's the fun thing about art. There's no mistakes. I'm so so sick of hearing people talk about how they, I can't art basically. And it's like, no, that's the fun thing about it. Anyone can do it, really. You think to yourself, I could do that, but you didn't, but you didn't. I'm one of those did it's, uh, that's me. Hi, I'm Mitchell. And right now I'm filling in these secondary areas with a highlighter yellow with my favorite paint markers of all time. Posca, Posca, if you're watching this, I know you are, Daddy Posca. I love ya. Ooh, so now we're adding some hot pink. I like to get marker done first. I don't like to follow the rules. I'm a rebel, baby. <laughs> uh, I'm not. You know what? This is fun. This is my channel becoming that art channel that I think I've always wanted it to be. This is a good mix of both. Look at me scooting the canvas up like a pro. Wow, good job, Mitchell, in the past. And I like that nail color. Okay, so now we just zoomed in to get some some close-ups. This is what I was talking about, those movement of the pixels. See, because I started to edit this as an art video and then I realized, no, it's actually, it's something new. And then I was on the phone with my, my manager and all of a sudden it was like we stumbled upon, it's like, this is actually the perfect extension to Wavy Dash, which by the way, there should be new shirts up you should be able to check and there should be new shirts up the series called uh, more dudes because <laughs> that's what we need more dudes for the boys no dudes spelled d-o-o-d-s doodles <laughs> there's my crack yeah we were just on the phone chatting and it was like it sounds like you've you've made a a art video in real life you've you've you've, you've almost gone back to analog how the world's been going on i just uh packed up my car with all my my gear my painting gear not my camera gear and i just said let's go somewhere in the middle of the woods uh in virginia so that's all everything you see in the creeks and the cracks that's not my stuff but yeah we're still uh hitting it with the hot pink if this is going to be something new that i do um as one of the quote shows on this channel is me doing physical paint uh, and VO underneath it, just kind of explaining myself and just getting to talk. I think we could have a good time. So subscribe, <laughs> become a patron. I'm not cutting it. We're doing it one take Timmy style. I just have never been a person who worries about staying in the lines. I don't know. I like a good, 
I like looking at canvases, like when I'm at the, when I am at a museum, I love looking at the corners of canvases, the edges and seeing those like sketch marks and those weird little marks and the blank bits and the plain canvas. It's like, ugh, that glitch was great. I like leaving those places. I have the same vibe with shoes. Like I see sneakerheads all the time. They're like, don't get creases, don't get them dirty. I have one really nice pair of shoes. And anytime I get the chance, I love getting them scuffed up and dirty and wearing them. That's, that gives them life. That gives it your touch. Without it, they're just the fucking same thing that was made. Everyone has the same one when you get it. We've got some movement. Okay, so here we go. Now I have finished the pink, the yellow, and the fluorescent yellow, the highlighter. I know what I'm doing with this painting. It is a wrong cartoons. I can just see it in my head already building because these shapes have familiar cartoon head shapes. Let's see if you guess the right cartoons. And then this is the first painting, the one that I said was gold, but now has a top coat that looks a little bit like Clancy. Hi, Clancy. Um, Clancy is a character from the Midnight Gospel. I really, really, really enjoyed that show on Netflix. Check it out. And this one I didn't film making. I really, I effed up, okay? But yeah, here's me just kind of being fun with the camera and showing it. Um, it has this wonderful gold background. I use gold and silver backgrounds for these paintings, which I will never do again because photographing these has been a nightmare. And I want to get prints up somewhere. Here I've added blue on one side and yellow on the other and what I kept calling energy <laughs> lines. There's nothing on the screen. I'm not going to talk about this. So yeah, those energy lines. And then this is the another blank canvas. I took two types of gold spray paint and just spray painted one spiral and then flipped it upside down and spray painted another. I knew that I wanted to make something that felt Dr. Seuss. Why is the camera sideways? Mitchell, you're better than this. <laughs> but see how the drips go up and down? I decided to fill in the white areas between with a series of pink, light pink, dark pink, orange, and dark orange and they go in a specific order. It's kind of morphed at this point into kind of like the twilight zone of Dr. Seuss. By the way, uh, when I say Dr. Seuss, like I know we're all thinking of the books, but like if you've ever Googled some of his other, his other work, it's really weird and dark and I am so fascinated and in love with it. You know, Pepper and Andy Warhol, because that's always, he's always on my shoulder just going, hey, what are you doing? So here I am filling in all the empty spaces, which I got to take a lot of merit in because it was spray paint. So it was kind of fuzzy lines that I got to clean up. I worked on all these paintings for a solid 30 days. I took a month off YouTube a few months ago and that's when this all occurred. BT dubs for your information. FYI. Honestly, I would love to go in this direction, turning this into a proper art channel, still making art videos, because I've been looking for a new way to incorporate my artwork and give some validity to it. Because like I said in the beginning, I've been saying I'm an artist and I've been showing you so little. I went back through my videos and realized like, what? I haven't shown anything. Here's me uh, rotating the painting when it's finished. I just wanted you to see the gold, but yeah art videos where I use YouTube as a canvas, these videos where I'm basically vlogging and using real canvas, going live, and that's where Live Lava Live will be. Keep spilling secrets there about how I do certain things in videos. That's why I've started calling these a project by Mitchell Davis. This color palette to me is just, it, I'm talking about the painting, even seeing it again, I'm like, it's so vibrant. So here, uh, you can see really small, I've taped up the yellow faces with the hot pink that we saw in the beginning. I used, you know, just standard spray paint. I like to incorporate as many mediums as I can. Uh, this is me outside spray painting it, holding the camera so poorly. This effect looks crazy right now. I'm on a tarp outside 
And it really is, it's, this This is looks like some scary ass found footage. This is like a day and a half later. I wasn't too worried about like preserving my my shapes. Like I mean, like clearly I preserved them. Look at how I bent the tape and stuff, but I wasn't, you know, die hard on getting them exact because those Poscas, you can go right over top of spray paint once it dries. Uh, it's when, it's when you start using acrylics and things get goopy. I don't know the right word. Hi, I'm a college dropout. It's, it's just, it gets way more difficult to get in those crevices. This is uh, still Posca friendly. Aren't we all having a good time? I know, I know I am. I'm not one to be afraid to just make a harsh line and go for it. There are no mistakes. Bob Ross was right. They're just new additions that you get to work with. Uh, here's a close up of the faces. So here we're finally getting to see who they are. We have uh, Daria. <laughs> and then we have Hey Arnold. There's pencil underneath there. I uh, kind of erased it. I kind of don't. I really love, again, I love seeing prog like progress and I love being able to see those. There's Piglet, Morty, and Winnie the Pooh, and uh, Elroy. I love the, the darkness, the shading of where some of the pencil markings and how I redid some stuff. This is when I knew like, oh cool, this one's almost done. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I'm so happy with it. I really like the their weird shapes, this whole wrong cartoons thing that I'm doing for Wavy Dash and just myself has been so much fun. Uh, just going back into my childhood and being like, who shouldn't be in a picture together? So now I've added a blue background with a frame. So then I made this stencil out of a, <laughs> the top of a box of French fries that I got. It's like foam. So I was figuring the more I used it, the more it would deteriorate. And I thought that would look pretty fun. So flash forward to the next day. Here it is outside with some already there. So it's already deteriorated a little bit, but I really didn't feel like they deteriorated enough. So this is me working on that. I've always really had a, a love for the Nike swoosh. So there's the there's the swoosh of what's left of it yet. And I still have a few more to make, so that's fun. There I am rocking some Crocs with socks. Oh, this is where I stencil a silver one because I kept thinking one should be a different color. And then the moment I do it, I was like, oh, it's so wrong. Yeah, no. See, look at that. No. Mm -mm. Here I am. This is me having that moment. Three, two, one. And we need to go get the pink and cover this up before anyone else even remotely knows it exists. <laughs> By the way, when there's nothing interesting on the screen, if you haven't been able to tell, I've taken creative merit and made it so that these shapes in the white void Windows 95 screensaver. <laughs> so here I am covering uh, that one up back up with pink. And then when I do that, uh, it deteriorates a lot more than I was expecting. And I love it, which is fantastic when something like that happens. So I decide to go over a few more double. I really like the idea of like graffiti or with this road trip, I got really into like seeing signs that clearly had been re repainted the same thing like three or four times. Got really into that. <laughs> and just this idea of like these things living longer than people and they're just this it's a fucking swoosh it's it's nothing uh but you know that swoosh is like that's my favorite avenger <laughs> at this point in time i don't know but in the future i'm actually going to outline them and once i outline them it becomes so much better i saw it one way and by the end I saw it a completely other way and that was fine because that was still the way I think it should have intended to be. I sounded like an ass just then, whatever. <laughs> you get what I mean. Here I am showing you the stencil. I did a lot of these paintings outside uh, the weather. The weather was just beautiful and I had to do it. Adding some more drips freehand. At this point, I was like, oh, if we're gonna make it drippy, let's like make it drippy. You know what I mean? <laughs> when I make one of these videos again in the future, a painting video is what I'm referring to. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do them one at a time. I'm not gonna do six in once, but you know what? 
if we're gonna start, let's start big, I guess. So by this point, the stencil's completely dead. So I'm just trying to freehand the last few, which I thought made sense for the project because by the end, it, it, I feel like, yeah, it would just decay on itself to the point where someone would be like, I don't even know what it's supposed to be anymore. <laughs> don't not expect secret stuff on the back of my canvases because <laughs> I just love like writing things on the edges. And again, the stuff the frame is supposed to hide, I find the best. <laughs> I will say this is a pretty good swoosh for just like, boom, boom. Yeah. Let it dry in the sun. Let it bake. I'm loving the colors. I taped the phone to the door. That's why it's swinging so much in these scenes. Looks good from far away. Oh, something's happening. Oh, here I am showing the final result of the stencil. And here's a close-up of freshly painted Nike swooshes <laughs> uh, deteriorating after every time I do it. There's my favorite one. I went over that a few times. I was really into all the little drips that it was making every time I moved the stencil. Here is the canvas that was painted black. I taped out some pyramids and totally didn't... They were supposed to be touching. So this whole layer, I realized midway through taking off the tape. See how it's, they're not touching? That's the, they're supposed to be touching. I know I wanted to make some gold pyramids, another real Dr. Seuss dark vibe. And so I landed on this and it ended up working out really great because I had to retape it and do this again on top of it. I first just did this one layer and it was okay. It didn't look great. But then I started just kind of holding the paint in the same place and it gets this really amazing texture that's like dripping, but it's gold. So it's like super shiny and has a lot of depth. And uh, so I obviously got obsessed with it and did it a ton all over the thing. And that's what you're about to watch. I just think it looks fantastic. It gave such dimension and like weird brickwork looking style to this pyramid piece. Like, look at that, it's so shiny now, you can see the reflections. Yeah, here I am holding it in the light. It just, oof, looked great. Again, I will never use metallics as backgrounds. We've got a little collection going on. There's still one blank one. There we go, that one, kind of close up. This guy, close up. That lady, a pretty close now. I worked on them mostly two at a time. Yeah, we had this purple light in the corner of her room. And so I just kept shining it against the purple light, like holding it close and then walking it away. I taped this thing too many times. There's so many. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if there's still tape somewhere underneath one of the layers. There's like a little lump in my throat and I can tell it's because I'm nervous that I've never done a video like this. <laughs> I haven't felt this in a minute. Um, it's a it's a good and bad feeling. <laughs> I'm just ready for a reintroduction. I've been live, lava, live for so long. It's just like, hi, I'm Mitchell. Welcome to Mitchell's channel. I make art. This is so much more tape than I remember. I end up putting a whole new coat of black on the top of that, by the way, just because like even looking at it here, it looks so bad after touching it so much. And there we go. It's like a weird loading screen from a Windows 98 computer. But like, the image isn't even cool. It's just like, what the fuck is this? Here's the next day when I realized what needed to be changed. I added some guidelines too of where I was going to add more. Then we jump cut right to uh, my last painting, which was completely inspired by all those gross billboards that I passed. Been repainting it, you know, every year once a year for 15 years and it's been like the same design with a minimal change so i just wanted this one to feel real barnyard <laughs> currently this is the group the lot so far there's that green once it once it was finished and also that day i spray painted the edges of the the pyramid house which i think i show here in a second show it mitchell show it go to it here we go 
boom, baby. So that there's still gold in the center. So yeah. Oh, and there I actually filled in Piglet's nose and Hair Arnold's eyes and Morty's eyes, which is what I'm showing you. Every time I pulled out the camera it was because something new had happened, I swear. Again, didn't think that it was going to be anything that I was going to edit up. So it's all shot like it was with the potato. You know what, though? Maybe that's great. The first one, no pressure. It's not even video first. It's paintings first, video second. And then my th voice third. <laughs> <laughs> feels like I'm podcasting is what it feels like, but there's no other person. So it's strange because there's nothing to or anyone to bounce off. It's just me and this video of uh, paint. So here we go. I've added the, the shimmers. Um, I just kept thinking, wouldn't it be interesting to not have any name at all text wise, but it's just shimmers of like for the car dealership, the edge of the sign. So I just got into that. Uh, I don't know what's happening here, but I love it. It's beautiful. I think the color's trying to correct. That was cool as shit. And here I added the the secondary colors to the pyramid home. Now let's spray paint it like it's been graffitied and tried to be fixed. So I just went over with some silver because I thought it would look nice with the white. This was the newer version where I took a couple Poscas because again, you can go over spray paint very easy. And I just did it with four different colors of green and uh, kind of accentuated almost the old stuff uh, as if it was someone going, let's go retro and make it look how it used to look, even though this looks nothing how it used to look. I actually took a wet napkin to this and like kind of smeared it in a few places just to make it look like I tried to clean it. Uh, the whole time I was making it, I just kept calling it gross Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> I love Coca-Cola. I don't think it's gross at all, but uh, here we've jumped into me adding the bricks to the pyramid, whatever you want to call it. I don't have official names for all these paintings yet. If I ever put out prints, they'll have names, I promise. Yeah, just making some bricks close up with the flash on so that you can see the gold shimmering. Just having a good time. And I love that pink against the black. I end up adding another layer of black. I really kept thinking like, what would Dr. Seuss add? This is me going and doing the outline. And this was actually really difficult because I had to decide which splatters went with which Nike swoosh. This was my very pop piece, is make a Nike piece that uh, Andy Warhol would make today. So obviously with Mitchell Davis touch. I kept calling this deterioration of a logo, but you know. Again, tomato, tomato. You can't even see those little speckles, but I'm like going through having to decide like, is that one worth circling or not? Yeah, I made the pattern in my sketchbook first because I wanted it to at a glance look like there is no pattern. And then if you really study it, you're like, oh. And then that's what the Dr. Seuss one in my mind was going to look like finished. It didn't look like that entirely, but we're getting close. So that one's now officially done. That whole stack over there is done and now we've reached the end oh, and where we're oh where we're going to showcase so, the uh for size reference the finished product so now you're not seeing any white i let the computer generate so what it thought the white should be the deterioration of the logo then we've got dr seuss going home caught in a daze Clancy, gross Coca-Cola. I'm so proud of these. Wrong cartoons, but in canvas form. It'd be very interesting to see if you could find a frame that looks like the frame I made and then frame it in a frame like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, when I took a month off and spent 30 days and made six paintings. Logo. Look at that. It's new. A project by Mitchell Davis.